I'm very excited. <laughs> Hey guys, so it has been about two months since we maintained the orchard out here. We have been focusing on our other house, trying to get it ready to go on the market. We've been putting in floors and painting all the walls and putting in new trim and redoing the kitchen and working on the bathroom. So we haven't been out here to the property to actually work. And because of that, the orchard has gone crazy. Actually everything Anywhere that we've cleared, basically, the land has tried to reclaim from us. So, behind us is the orchard and the trees and all of that. And you can barely see anything because of how tall all these weeds are. This is my strawberry bed. We have gotten strawberries out of it. But it is overcrowded. And I have been pulling stuff out, out of it anytime we come out. But we haven't been out in a couple weeks. And in just a couple weeks time, this thing is freaking full of weeds. So today we are gonna be looking at where we're moving our 10 by 10 sheds to. We have two that have to come from our current house to come out here. So we're gonna be looking at clearing an area for that. And then we're also gonna be clearing this orchard because we don't want all of these plants competing for the nutrition of the plants that we actually want to grow. So we're gonna get these handled as far as the grass everywhere else, the stuff growing up, we're gonna leave it. Um, we need to keep working on our house because we need to get it on the market and sold while the market is so freaking hot and so we need to hurry up and get going on that and so we're just spending the time that we have to spend out here to keep moving forward and then going back home and getting back to work there i cannot wait to just live here and have one place to maintain it is a lot trying to work full-time jobs work on our house work here it's just a lot so We'll get this under control and then we'll be going back home to continue to work on our master bathroom. So let's get started. Up the orchard I'm gonna take a look at where we're moving these sheds to to see if I can at least cut down some of the smaller stuff and kind of get a, a picture of what it's gonna look like I think we might have to bring in some fill dirt to this area too just to help when they drop off the little 10 by 10 sheds so I'm gonna take a look at this and see what we can get done
Okay, so I think that we are just about tired of cutting down the little area today for the sheds. And we've, mowing and weeding. And yeah, and just being hot. So we have some other stuff we've got to work on at the house. So we're going to wrap it up here for today and probably come back either one evening this week or this next weekend and finish cutting down the rest of the area that we need to clear out. We have a uh, burn pile that we started right here yep. to the side. So we figured while that's burning, we can cut out the rest of it and burn it all with it. So we got to get two more sheds in here. Yeah. And at least 60 tons of dirt, yeah. soil, sand, whatever was cheapest. Yeah. So we're going to look up um, what we need to do for that. And the sheds are going to gonna be a place around where the oak trees are. So. It'll be like really cabiny mountain feeling, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So that's I it for today. Wait. We're that's exhausted. Going, this all finally looking looking like a picture coming together. Yeah. Every time we work out here, but today was just maintenance. I mean, yeah. Our, our weeds were getting the size of fruit trees. It was getting crazy. But we've been spending every weekend working at the house and not out here, so we can move out here. It's a process. Yeah. Lengthy one. So hit that subscribe button if you like watching this video and you want to see more of us turning this land into a homestead and a shed into a house. And we're thankful that you guys are joining us on this journey. Yep. Thanks, guys. Bye.